Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about quartiles. In our previous class, we already discussed about how to measure of central tendency, different ways to find the measure of central tendency. This is a continuation class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we will understand how to calculate the quartile points. Then we are going to understand what's the use of these quartile points in this class. So coming to this, quartiles are three values which divide the data series into four equal parts. So here we have to identify three different values. Those three different values has to identify, has to divide our data series into four equal parts. These three points we call them as quartile points. So let's try to understand with an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is our data series. In this, if you identify, we need to identify three points. Q1 is our first quartile point. Q2 is our second quartile point. Q3 is our third quartile point. So that these three points are going to divide our data into three equal parts. Means 25% of data should be on the left of Q1. Q2 means 50% of the data should be on the left of the Q2 means this is already median point. Take the series in ascending and divide them at the half point we call it as a median value. That's why this we call it as median quartile. This we call it as lower quartile. This is upper quartile. So 75% of the data point should be on the left of Q3 value. Let's understand how to how to find the quartile points. N observations are there. If you are having N observations, Q1 is equal to N plus 1 by fourth observation. We call it as a Q1 means lower quartile value. Means 25% of the data is on the left of that this value, observation value. N plus 1 by fourth point. Fourth observation should be taken. Q2 is equal to N plus 1 by twoth observation. We call it as a 50% median. Median quartile we call it as a and the, uh, and the third quartile should be 3 multiplied by n plus 1 by 4 that observation should be taken as the third quartile point it's very easy to identify these quartile points but what's the use of these quartile points simply identifying the measure of central tendency is not helpful in most of the situations so in order to have a deeper understanding of the data we need these quartile points. Uh, let's understand with an example. So in which situations this deeper understanding is needed. Quartile points helps in finding more information from the data. Let's take an example. Marks in a class. If you take the marks in a class, uh, simply taking the what's the average of the marks that are getting for students is not enough. If you take the quartile points, uh, you can divide this data into four different parts and you can say that uh, the first 25% are poor students and the last uh, Q3, these students are, uh, means this is the value above this, we call it as the bright students, uh, average students like that. You can easily divide our data. So that's why these quartile points are helpful. And take a look at this uh, diagrammatical intuition. These distributions were already discussed in our previous classes. Let's take a distribution like this. This is symmetric distribution. If you have the symmetric distribution, if you identify the quartile points, the quartile points comes like this. This is the median value which we, uh, we already discussed. And the lower quartile comes like this here. And upper quartile comes like this here. So, so that uh, you will have better understanding of the data with this quartile points. We are showing this graphical intuition because this graphical intuition helps you a lot in understanding our coming classes when we discuss about Gaussian distribution you know probability distributions concept uh, you'll you'll have a good understanding about this uh, if you have this graphical intuition the there the things will be easy coming to the next one uh, well, let's take uh, one more example asymmetric distribution also this is a skewed distribution right skewed distribution see here this is the popular uh, yearly income of the population has been taken this example also discussed previously if you identify the quartile points q3 comes uh, somewhere around here q2 is the median value and q1 comes somewhere around here this class of people we call it as a uh, below poverty line uh, class uh, and this class of people we call it as a rich class uh, and the middle class class like that you can have some intuition about the data what is the uh, minimum salary for uh, that's uh, yearly income for uh, rich people what's the basic salary that uh, coming for a 
so below poverty line income and all those things can be identified this is what about quartile points hope you understand the concept in our next classes we are going to discuss how to find the quartile points given frequency distribution if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you